What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today it is officially less than 24 hours until the famous 300 million download celebration live stream from Bandai will be going live, or it's already a recorded video because that's what they've done in the past before, we're not really sure. Based on some of the things that they do when it comes to the guests that they bring on, and hey, beat this in seven minutes to give your viewers some stones, and the guy's going, I don't know what time is it. Oh, okay, now I can go and finish the event. It's probably gonna be pre-recorded, but we're not really sure, so we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it is Saturday Japan time when it happens at night, and I'm like, who in the right mind would actually be up that late? It's, it's probably pre-recorded, but nonetheless, uh, if you don't know about that stuff already, well, now you know, okay? So the live stream will be happening on YouTube. The link will be down in the description below. They've been posting it all over Facebook for Global, I guess, Twitter for JP. It's in the game news and everything. So a lot of stuff will hopefully be showing off. And then not to mention that within the next 24 hours to 48 hours or so, we'll be seeing V-Jump stuff, okay? Because we'll probably get the leaks for V-Jump via that Japanese website. And then a couple days later, because the, 20, the 20th is coming up soon, uh, we'll then get the official scans and everything like that. And hopefully it'll show us what we're going to be getting for the dual Dokkan Fest units that we'll be getting, okay? Because let's face it, we're going to get some kind of dual Dokkan Fest cards. We'll just have to wait and see what's going to be happening, so. But real quickly, I wanted to go kind of over my final predictions, what I think will be announced in the stream, slash what we can be getting potentially. Kind of the big stuff, essentially, um, or stuff that maybe some of, the, some of the other stuff that people have not really been mentioning. Um, so if you're watching this video after the live stream has happened or after the V-Jump stuff has all come out and we've all made our videos on our everything and talking about it and translating and everything, then let me know your thoughts down below, you know, what sounds good if maybe it could be announced later on through my list that I'm about to go through. Or if you want to go ahead and go over to those other videos and then go ahead and join the conversation with us over there. So... Anyway, uh, so I'm just gonna go quickly over what I think will hopefully be announced in the live stream itself. And then just kind of go over a couple of extra things that I think will be shown in the V jump, aside from the normal, you know, obviously there's gonna be a ticket banner and everything. Uh, because everyone's already made videos on this. I've seen it from Tiger Gaming, I've seen it from Truth, D Free, Nano, everyone basically. Uh, if you guys don't know about the ticket banner, essentially for every 50 stones that you have used over the course of the year, then you are going to get one ticket. So if you use 100 stones, you get two tickets and so on and so forth. Um, that will be coming this year, obviously, which then of course also, you know, begs the question, if you're a free to play, free -to -play player, how many tickets will you get? And I think someone over on the Reddit did it for like... I think averages it to about 80, 85 tickets or something like that. Again, I'm not really sure. Check out all those other videos that I just mentioned because they've all talked about it and I didn't really feel like covering it when everyone else had already done it right there and then and there. So um, anyway, so that's probably gonna answer the big one that I know a lot of people are asking, how many tickets am I gonna get? Are we in the ticket banner? Most likely, yes, we are. So that's just gonna happen right there, okay? So first off, let's get into what I personally think is gonna be announced at the live stream or slash pre-recorded video that will go live tomorrow, okay? So, first off, I think they're going to announce new Super Battle Road stages, okay? A lot of people have been asking, when are we finally getting new Super Battle Road stages? It was kind of leaked by Team Doken a while ago, saying we should be getting them sometime, but we haven't really seen anything. It's been a couple months now since that post. Um, but, I mean, why? What, what better time to announce some new Super Battle Road stages a year after the last time that they updated it than now, right? It's been over a year since we've had new Super Battle Road stages, so I really think this is the time for them to go ahead and bring that back. So we need a new set of stages. The old ones, for the most part, I think most people have been able to beat one or two. I mean, Peppy Gals is done free to play, no problem. Some of the others can be done free to play. I mean, Super can be done free to play with a Seeker of the Dragon Balls team category. So that's pretty good right there. All types are done free to play by now. So it's it's kind of just like, okay, guys, come on, let's, let's, let's address a few more of these stages and what's gonna happen. So the teams I think that they're gonna introduce. Now, granted, I have absolutely no idea if these are gonna be correct. Some of them might be obviously kind of a duh. Some of them are gonna be like, I don't know if they're really going to do that because it's like, do they follow the same order that they came out in and everything? We're not really sure. But here are the 10 teams that I think are going to be part of the World Tournament, okay? So first off, kind of as the, like, kind of like the Peppy Gals one, where it's going to be like less HP, not too hard of an event probably to do, is going to be maybe a World Tournament stage. Um, the a second kind of side one to that, if that does not happen though, would also maybe be like the Ginyu Force team or something, you know, because there's an entire free-to-play Ginyu Force team, so maybe potentially something like that could be the next super kind of the the flunky super bad road stage i guess i want to call i don't really have a word for it but you guys kind of get the idea for it um anyway going on to the second category i think it's gonna be super sand three then pure sands pure sands will probably be pretty tough because there's a lot of different pure sand cards in there but i think it could also be done free to play no problem uh movie bosses 
I think Giants could potentially get one. I would prefer not to, but I think Giants could potentially get a category Super Battle Red Stage. Uh, then I think Future Category is going to get one. I think Full Power. I think Android. And then finally will be the Transformation Boost as Global has translated. And I think a lot of people know it by, so I'm just going to simply Transformation Boost. Although I know Goresh doesn't technically like that tr that uh, translation of that and everything. So, um, And so now counting, that's technically nine. But if World Tournament happens, then maybe I could also see Ginyu Force happening as a 10th one. Again, not really sure. Um, that's just my kind of guess. It wasn't particularly going in like an order that they're in release or that the categories have been released because you know i skipped over you know low tier, low tier sands i skipped over namekian category i skipped over namekians themselves so that's the reason i did that we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen but i think those 10 categories or at least most of those categories have a good shot at being the next super battle road stage and i'm really hoping that what they do is because we've seen the lr gohan and the lr goku cards that the next one is supposed to be either Piccolo or Krillin. It's from an old picture from an old book, I believe, that was released a long time ago in terms of Dragon Ball where they're in the, those funky costumes and everything. Goku and Gohan are done. So my next guess is that it's either going to be Krillin or Piccolo. And I hope that it's Krillin because Piccolo just got a Dokkan Fest Awakening uh, card. So hopefully Krillin will actually finally get a level, which means he'd finally get an LR. So as long as they make him a good category and they make it for a good type, you know, like say, hey, he's going to give 40% attack and defense to all super types and then extreme types get minus 10% or something. Yeah, it's just something randomly out like that. I could personally see, and I hope that they do. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen there. So let me know your thoughts down below. What 10 new Super Battle Road stages do you want to come to the game next? I didn't pick something like, you know, Movie Heroes or anything, because that technically didn't come out until the Gogeta Blue stuff, which was just less than six months ago. So I don't think they're going to do that just yet. But who knows? Maybe they could. If they do, great. If not, then uh, I'll know to wait for it the next time. So again, let me know your thoughts, guys. What of the Super Battle Road stages, if they announce them, slash if they come this celebration, would you want to have and what one do you think you can beat the first time no problem so anyway moving on next thing i know probably well okay i don't know but they're going to basically it's almost guaranteed that they're going to announce it is the jp versus global uh competition cards that we will get okay so if you guys remember last year when we had this little competition at the very beginning of the celebration it was the uh str goku super saiyan and the physical full power not full power uh form four i guess final form frieza essentially they had the exact same passive skill so they weren't you know any different in that regard it was like if your hp was 77 percent or below you have plus three key and then attack and defense up and that was basically it their links were whatever the case would be, basically, and that was it. And then Goku had a leader skill of all types, key plus three, stats up 30%, and same with the Frieza. So they both did supreme damage, and that was basically it. So I don't think uh, we're going to get some, you know, it's, it, we'll get another competition like card like that. Global versus JP, whoever wins gets one card, whoever loses gets another card. If I had to take a wild guess on who it's going to be, it could potentially be that training Goku and training Gohan. I know some people are saying that maybe they're going to become an LR or something like that, but uh, I think maybe that could be one of them, or maybe it's just going to be some, you know, okay sell and okay Gohan if they go with the whole Gohan and sell dual Dokkan Fest route. Again, that's what I personally want. I've been saying this for the last couple months now, especially if you've been watching them on my streams. That, that is what I hope we need, um, or that we will get, essentially. I know, like, Goresh has been talking about, potentially, that maybe there's going to be an SSA 3 category, um, which, by the way, I just did a video on the Super Battle Road stage using the Super Saiyan 3 category, because Global just got all of your hero stuff, and I kind of asked the question, does Super Saiyan 3 need a new leader category, or do they just need more support units and more units in the category itself? So make sure you go and check that out if you want to. You'll be seeing the picture up above my head right now. Um, so... It's hard to say if that's going to happen. Some people want something like a UI Goku and a Jiren uh, combination right there. Uh, so for some reason, people want LRs. And I'm going to go off on the side moment right here. I don't know why, but so many people want this celebration to have dual Dokkan Fest LRs and then have the LR in the middle of the month and everything like that. I personally don't. So that's my, actually, that's my biggest question. That's going to be in the little poll up in the top right corner right now. Do you want these guys, or whoever it is, whether it's a Super Saiyan 3 category, a Cell and Gohan, a UI Goku and Jiren, whatever it happens to be, do you want these guys to be normal Dokkan Fest TURs with active skills, you know, transformations, the whole nine yards, or do you want them to be LRs? Do you want them to be LRs, or do you want them to be normal TURs? That's going to be my big question of the stream right there, okay? So go ahead and go ahead and answer the uh, poll in the top right corner of the screen right now, and just let me know. 
let me know. Because personally, I don't. I, I know people love LRs. I know people just, they still gush over them like no tomorrow. Me personally, they just don't do it for me anymore. They really don't. And maybe that's because I don't summon as often on the LR banners and I more go for the Dokkan Fest ones and those are the ones that hype me up more. But personally, I just hope that these this 300 million download celebration will not bring those two LRs. And then finally, you know, in the middle of the month of September and everything like that, sure, go ahead, do the uh, a normal LR like you did back in the 250 million download celebration and all that fun stuff. Me personally though, I don't want them in here, so. Anyway, uh, getting back into what I was talking about before. So we're gonna see a JP versus global card, obviously. And it's probably gonna be along the lines of, you know, use, this, use a certain amount of stamina, you, whoever does the more missions, does this, does this, does this. You know, the usual kind of stuff that we do in the game. And then basically after a week or so, they'll tally it up and say, okay, JP won in this category, this category, this category. Global won in this, 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 and this. Oh, Global won more of them. Yay, Global's the winner. JP's the winner. Because I think JP won the Vegeta, and Global got the Yamcha in the 200 million download celebration. And then last year, uh, it swapped. Global won, JP lost. So JP got the Goku, and Global got the Frieza. So that's one thing. So we'll have to see what's going to happen this year. You know, people are always going to shout that, oh, it's rigged this way, it's rigged this way, and all that stuff. You know, who, who's to say? It really is hard to say. Um, but anyway, so we're probably going to hear something about that in the stream itself. Again, I've talked about this in another video, and I've talked about this many times in my stream, but I'm thinking Dual Dokkan Fest with the Gohan in the Cell, but I don't think it's going to be revealed in the stream. I don't think it's going to be revealed there. I think it's going to be revealed in the V-Jump. I think that's what they're going to do. I could be completely wrong. They could reveal it, but generally in all these streams that they've done with Dokkan, they've never announced the du the Dokkan Fest cards, right? They've done the LRs. They did it with LR Baby and LR Goku, Pan, and Trunks combo but they never have done it with the Dokkan Fest, at least to my knowledge. If I am mistaken, then please correct me down below in the comments, but I'm 99% sure that they have not. So I don't think they're gonna show that. They'll show that in the V-Jump, and then obviously in the news, when other celebration starts, and then after that, we'll have to wait and see. Um, one other side thing real quick to the whole Gohan and Cell, if it's happening, a lot of people are saying that Global hasn't had a lot of these events. They haven't even had the Goku yet or anything like that. And my response to that is, yes, that is true, but when has that ever stopped Global from just randomly releasing stuff, right? Global just does that all the time. You, you know, you know, you know, Akatsuki doesn't care about, you know, making sure that everything is released at a certain way, right? I mean, for crying out loud, Global got Kid Goku before the year four because they messed up on the schedule and everything. They're like, oh, we need something to fill out this month. Oh, let's just randomly throw in Kid Goku here, right? You know, there have been other times in the past as well that they just kind of randomly release something. I mean, you guys literally just got the Int Janemba EZA and everyone thought that they were going to be going with the original 3,000 plus leaders and then the Janimba and the Gogeta and then doing it like this. And then it's just been all over the place, right? So that, if, me personally, I don't think that's going to stop them from releasing it. If it is a Gohan and Cell, it could become something completely different. I have absolutely no idea. That's the whole point of this video, right? We're doing a discussion. We want to talk about this kind of stuff. But um, just to go against that kind of question, I'd say, I'd say, yeah, I don't think it doesn't really matter. It's going to happen no matter what, regardless of where Global is in the game, okay? Um, obviously, I know this probably won't be announced in the video or in the stream, I guess, but I do know that there's obviously going to be a mid-month LR for whatever it is. Last year, we had the LR Goku and Frieza LR um, after the transforming Goku and Frieza banners, so we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen there. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen for a kind of mid-month LR? Do you think it's going to be another double LR banner like the Baby and the Trio, or do you think it's just going to be one LR? Let me know your thoughts, okay? Um, and then finally, the last thing, or the last few things I think that we're going to talk be talked about, especially this one, is going to be the free-to-play STR Vegeta that we just got on JP uh, that had its own farmable orbs and everything. So it's 100% free-to-play, rainbow and everything. I think we're going to see what he's going to doke on Awaken into, and then potentially he gets an easy A as well. A lot of us are predicting it's going to turn into a Vegeta and Trunks because the Vegeta right now is not in the Pure Sans category. So the only way for him to be not in the Pure Sans category is if he's teamed up with somebody, right? Which would have to be then the Trunks, because Trunks is a half sand, he's not a full sand, obviously. So we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen there. But uh, I even made a little post on Twitter a few days ago at the time of this recording asking, do you think that the Vegeta is going to raise attack and defense indefinitely, or do you think it's just going to stay at attack? I hope it turns to defense, because he would be a monster for the Legendary Goku event. And I hope that Global, you'll get the Legendary Goku event for this celebration. I don't know if you will, but it'd be really nice if you could. And then maybe on JP, they do like a Legendary Vegeta event or something. I think that'd be really cool and that'd be something to look forward to if they do that. Again, I doubt they're going to, but it would be nice nonetheless to see that. 
And then finally, in terms of the ECA on Global, I'm thinking you guys are hopefully gonna start getting your Gotenks or your Golden Frieza's maybe, like kind of the six, the 100% uh, tier, uh, what were they called, the Demigod leads way back in the day, or the 70%, the God leads as they were called, you know, way back when they came out. So hopefully you're gonna get one of those. And then on uh, JP, I think we're gonna get the Omega Shenron EZA because we just got the STR Cell. Some people are thinking that maybe we're gonna get the Int Vegeta, but I think it'll be Omega. We'll have to wait and see what's gonna happen. I know a lot of people want it to be, you know, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku or the AGL Vegito. I think they're gonna say that probably for Christmas or something. I'm not really sure, but we'll have to wait and see because I, you know, we, we all love the EZAs, right? The EZAs are always cool to see. And we know STR is definitely probably gonna overtake the, the physical Omega aside from being the leader. So, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. But let me hear your thoughts. What uh, EZAs do you think Global and JP are going to get? Let me know all your thoughts down below, okay? So, just to quickly go over what we talked about, guys. New Super Battle Red stages. The free-to-play SCR Vegeta will be awa uh, oh, his awakening and everything. The JP versus Global cards. And then they're probably going to talk about, like, the history of the game or something like that. Talk about, you know, oh, we started at this, then we went to this, then went to this, and this. Kind of like a timeline of everything, essentially. So, I'm probably going to see something like that. Maybe they talk about what the dual Dokkan Fest will be. I think that's going to be more in the V-Jump stuff that we'll be getting about a day or later or so. Maybe they'll talk about the mid-month LR we could potentially be seeing. And I think the EZA for Omega Shenron will be next, at least on the JP side. So, because remember, this entire video is going to be in Japanese. So we'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to mention what's going to be on Global besides simply, oh, hey, you guys are getting the celebration and this is what you could potentially see. I'm not sure because I, I, at least when it comes to the EZA stuff, obviously we're not at the same pace. I know that JP and Global are uh, at a different pace there. So we'll have to wait and see, even though usually 99% of these kind of celebrations are the same for both versions of the game. So we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video, though. Let me hear your thoughts down below in the comments, as always. Leave a like if you liked the video. I will be live streaming this uh, live stream, I guess or the pre-recorded video, essentially. I'll be live streaming it. I'll be on 15 minutes before it starts at 8 p.m. Japan time tomorrow, or basically the 18th of uh, August. So make sure you go down to the link in the description below and follow me over on Twitch. We'll be over there. Join the international family. And we will be, I will be live translating that. And I might even have some guests with me. So you also have to wait and see and find out. So anyway, though, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you happen to be new. Until next time, everyone. I will see you all in the next one.